Welcome everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you the few tips and tricks I have to survive the first few days in subsistence. First off, what you want to do is go to solo game, not to a profile that you already started. But so there's different aspects to the game in different modes. So if you're a first time gamer or open world survival player, I would definitely go with easier. There's three options. Normal uh, pretty much just makes more predators and kind of makes you have a little penalty and poisons you on death. Hardcores, you have one life. You don't want to do that. That's just a little too much um, if you're new to the game. Also, um, hunters, they can attack you if you get too close to them. And they're very, very uh, accurate with their aim. So I would just turn those off if it's your first time playing. There's really no need to have them on or in the game for now and as you can see right here you can put only revenge attacks and no attacks at all but that doesn't mean they won't attack you in the wilderness so we're just going to turn those off for now um another thing is you can pick the month that you start in and typically you want to keep out of the cold ranges so right here you kind of want to just normally what i just do is start in may and you won't have to worry about blizzards or anything too crazy uh, early in the game Another thing is, is I would start at 365 days at start. When you go to 24, which is default, um, you're going to see blizzards and storms, and you're going to see the winter very, very fast. And really, at this point in time in the game, and as if you're new, uh, you don't need that. You don't need uh, any more difficulties than there already is going to be, especially with everything in the game. All right, so just click Start New Solo Game. We'll dive right into this. And I'm just going to do a completely live uh, three-part series. Uh, so you're going to see all live gameplay. You're not going to see any um, skipping, none of that kind of stuff. As you can see, this is taking forever. All right, perfect. This is actually um, good. The sun is just rising. Um, and we are going to crack right into it. So water is used to wash hands off after killing animals because you can get infected that way but first and foremost we're going to want to start looking for fibers fibers create cordage cordage creates bows and different uh building techniques that we will go over later on in the three-part series so the more you run <clears throat> the more you run the faster your protein and fruit and vegetables go down and you really don't want that Hydration stays up pretty high. Um, this is your stamina and your health. Um, and you start out with a hatchet, which will never break unless you start mining ore. Then you're most likely to break. Pistol, you want to be very, very... I, I wouldn't even use it at this point. There's no real need to use a pistol right now. And to be completely honest, it does terrible damage to wolves and anything of that sort. So trees... Trees take three chops to get one log, um, and you get three logs from each tree. Except, oh, and this one's four because it's close to a river. Except for these big trees, they're called tree grub trees. They're a little different looking. And right here, this is a fiber. Fiber are like a little baby, like shriveled tree. So you're always gonna wanna pick fibers. And in this game, don't be scared to get too much stuff. Fibers are everywhere. There's also uh, herb plants, berries, strawberries, potatoes, carrots, and onions. So make sure you're always looking around. Th these are nothing. You can't do anything with these. These guys are just... This is a herb plant right here. It's a medical plant. Another fiber. And so once we get two fiber, you can make a cordage. Cordage is super useful for pretty much everything in the game. You're going to use it for most all things. So you really want to take advantage and pick up every single one you can you can scavenge. Oh, perfect. What do we got here? This is a survival kit. So there's four different box or there's five different boxes, but four you're only going to need. Awesome. Two nails. Nails are going to be super useful in late game. Berries for hydration or not hydration vegetables and cotton plants and that's super late game so we don't have to worry about cotton quite yet um, but it is very useful in late game to make different armors 
So that's awesome. So there's, like I was saying, five containers. One's a lockbox, which you'll not have to worry about for a long period of time because they take lockpicks and lockpicks are super hard to get. So you don't need, need to worry about them. They're a long green box. Then you have four other boxes. You have a survival kit, an ammunition kit, a building kit, and a medical kit. Building kits are a brown, bigger type box. Ammunition kits are blue. Survival kits are the ones we just opened and a medical kit has a big old plus on it. About this exact same color as the building kit or survival kit. All right, so let's speed things up. You don't want to run too much, but sometimes, you know, you just can't can't be bothered to walk everywhere. So right here we have a chicken. Chickens are super helpful and they get feathers for arrows. So once you get that bow and arrow, you're able to uh, make those arrows. So what you do, you never want to shoot these. It's a waste of arrows, ammunition, everything. Unless you're wanting to hurt them for your stable. And did you see that? All you have to do is just kind of cut them off or run after them. You can constantly run after them and they will slowly just stop and then you'll be able to catch up to them. So these right here, we got two of them, which is amazing. These are building kits. So these are pretty much going to give all the building material, electrical components, which is awesome, and a bunch of nails. And it always has one random thing in there. But it's always useful. Wow. Just got a bottle of water, which is awesome. And we got 28 nails, so that's super good. So berries, split that in half, and all we have to do is drag that into that, mix with berries, and now we have berry water. Okay, so vegetation, normally it's 13 and four hunger. Now this goes to 15 and five hunger plus hydration. So that's amazing. You guys really want to look out for that. Oh, and to bring up my point about the big trees, you see the difference between this tree right here? This is like a scrawny like pine tree. This is like some Renaissance festival type tree. Um, this is what gives you grubs. So after the six chop, one, two, three, four, five, six. And right in the bottom left of my screen, it says tree grub. So that's super good. This is to make, some people can't eat them if you're in desperate needs, but normally you don't need to. Uh, you can make fishing tackle. Fishing tackle is super, super good once you get a fishing pole. It is so good, like catching, there's three types of fish you can catch. You can catch a small fish, a medium salmon, and a bass. Bass get four um, slices of meat and they give two fish oil. Fish oil is good in late game for uh, making uh, medical purposes. So we're going to cross this river. We're going to go over that way. Um, but first, this is scrap metal. Scrap metal is super important for late game. And like I said, never stop picking up stuff. The only thing I would tell you not to do at this time in the game is mine ore. Mining ore with a hatchet is probably the worst thing you can do. It's a waste of time and it doesn't give you as much. So you might as well just let it sit here. So this is copper ore right now. And as you can see, it takes about 12 swings to chop this thing. And you only get two copper ore. Normally you'll get three to four. And it just... It takes four smashes with the pick and it takes way too much and it degrades your hatchet. So it's just really not worth it in the long run, to be honest. Swimming, um, there is seashells that have pearls inside of them. There's sandstone down here, a couple ore, um, but besides that it also has kelp. Kelp is super good for uh, making antidotes. So you're definitely going to have to look from... We're going to have to look somewhere else. It doesn't seem to be any right there. And we got another chicken. We're going to let that guy go. Let him live. Let him be. Okay, so that's sandstone right there. It kind of looks like just some white sand in the water. And these are kelp. Kelp are super good. You can eat them. Um, but most people do not. It's 
I mean, it doesn't give you as much as you want for vegetation. So, I'm going to get up out of here. And another thing is be careful with water. So, see how there's that boar right there and there's a wolf. If that wolf was right here, we would be screwed. We'd be dead, for sure. Because getting out of water is terrible. I don't know what Cold Games needs to fix about that, but... Yeah, it just is not good at all. It takes forever. And you're slower than the animals in the water. So that's also not good. So, sprinting, sprinting, sprinting. And then once you see your stamina go down, or if it goes down to completely zero, um, what all you have to do, stop at a tree, chop the tree. And this is the most grindy part of the game, is just mining these trees, or chopping these trees, as I should say. But it gains your stamina up a lot faster. But as you can see here, awesome, we have a med kit. And not too much meds, but we get berries and some nails. Nails, you'll never run out. Or you will always run out. You have to get as much nails as possible. Nails are number one key in this game. It takes nails to craft walls. It takes nails to craft arrows. Anything, you name it. Okay, we need to butcher this guy before he gets bad. Kill, butcher. So we have feathers now. So what we need to do is make some sticks. <clears throat> we still need to get some more uh, cordage, I believe. So we can make that bow and arrow. Yeah, we still don't have enough, I don't believe. So we're going to queue that up as we go over to this medical box. We have to be careful, though, because there is a wolf or a bear kind of close. But I think we'll be perfectly fine. We won't have any troubles. Nice, another feather. So... Biggest tip I can give somebody right now You see this bear or you don't see this bear say you're walking this way. He's gonna give you a warning Right here. This is his warning and if you don't Leave at that point. He's gonna drop back down and he's gonna start walking your way so Here since he's trotting at me right now. He's not running at me so I could walk away but once he does start running, I'll show you. So he just started sprinting, so I'm going to sprint. And you're going to hear two slashes. One right there. Oh, I think we missed the first one. But it's normally two slashes, and then give it two seconds, and then you can start just walking. Because then he doesn't care about you he doesn't want to chase you any further but the thing is is if you start just chopping a tree right here he's gonna keep on coming at you because he already senses you he already wants to kill you so it's just a matter of time when he gets to you but get out of line of sight and then you'll be perfectly fine and there's a wolf so perfect so you just need to be very careful that's why a lot of people like walking in this game because you don't have the fear of running into something at a fast pace. You can kind of slowly, gradually get up to them and make your move from there. So as we're walking down, what we want to do is get a campfire. See, he still has li line of sight on me. So he's able to just keep on chasing after me. So that is not good. So we're going to make our way straight to that building crate over there. We're going to just trot on out of here. There's too many animals. Don't want to risk it. That was a bug right there. I've never encountered Okay, so we're gonna loot this and then scurry out of here We're gonna get our campfire ready because nighttime no matter what night it is If it's in the hottest point of summer at nighttime, it will always be cold and I promise you that So you'll lose HP and it's not fun. These right here are berries Berries are super, super good, and they give you nice hydration. And like I said, if you find water bottles, you can't make the water bottles because you can only make the canteens. Um, you can put the berries in the water bottles. So that's it's super, super good. Awesome. Another freaking medical case. What are you giving me? Sweet. So we got a bandage, which is super helpful. If we get attacked by something, we start bleeding. And cloth. Cloth makes bandages. So we'll take that. Another medical herb. All right, so we got our fire it's right here. Awesome. And we're going to need a fire starter kit. So the medical herbs that I just picked up. So there's one right here. After collecting four of these medical herbs, you can go into the health area and make biofuel. Biofuel is made 
or needed to make starter kits for fires. So each stick gives you two. So I'm just going to make an extra one just so I can make some arrows as well once I do get that bow. But I actually can make that bow right now. So we're, we're making making the gains right now. So biofuel, we're going to need one of those for the fire starter because once it turns nighttime and it starts getting cold, you have to start a fire. And if it's raining, oof, your fire will go out. So you have to try hurry up and making a, uh, a roof and everything. And that just causes a whole nother problem for us. So hopefully it doesn't rain tonight. So I am getting kind of low on everything. So I'm going to eat some protein. Um, I have this meat right here. So I'm going to hold off on that. So I'm just going to eat the grub. And if you do push F on it, it eats instantly. I'm going to eat some berries. Those are super good. And I'm going to drink this water because it also gives me good. Uh, look at that. That is awesome. Protein's a little low, but that's okay. Uh, we have that and that. S meat does spoil after 15 minutes. So just remember that. 15 minutes and your meat is done. Which is terrible and there's no timer on it, which I dislike. But um, maybe one day Cold Games can implement that into, into the game. So awesome. We got some more cordage. We got nails, some gunpowder, but we won't need that till later in electrical po components. That's awesome. So what we're going to do now is make our bow. Get that started. Make a couple more sticks. We need to make sure we mine some or chop some more. I don't know why I keep on saying that. Chop some more wood. So when it does become night, we can make that fire and make it withstand the whole night. Awesome. So we have our bow now. Oops. And if you do want to move uh, this down to here without dragging it to your hop bar, just click shift left click and it'll move it right down. Very fancy. All right. So now we can make some arrows as well. Arrows cost a lot. Arrows cost a lot. Arrows cost a lot. You can never like take arrows for granted because arrows, they will go down the drain like snap of a finger and your nails would just be depleted. As you can see, I just lost six nails, but every two, every one made, every one feather used, it gives you two arrows. So now we'll have six arrows and that's, we're able to kill a wolf if we land every arrow. And we're gonna get some more nails here, hopefully. Perfect, big time nails. All right, and while we're waiting for those to queue, we're gonna queue up a couple of these planks. We need five planks to make a foundation so we can start our house. I need to fix that. So we're, we're making progress. And as you can see, we're staying away from everything that will danger us. We're just keeping our distance. See, there's a wolf over there. We just need to keep our distance. Because if we don't, they're just going to kill us. They don't play any games. They don't mess around. They don't just say hi and leave. They will chase us to eternity. So another chicken here. We're going to try to grab this for nighttime so we can have something to eat. Get our protein up. And so, like I said, we're just running after it. Every, like, I think, I believe it's four seconds, it stops running. And then it starts again. So, pick up some more fiber. And, and when you're doing nothing or when you're chopping wood, always make sure you have something queued. It's just to get the efficiency out of the game. You just need to be as efficient as possible because everything takes a long time. And as you can see, chopping logs is not a fun process. You're literally just sitting here, just smashing your hammer. And it's not like you're getting one log per hit. You're getting one log every three hits. So... You always need wood. Never not. Like, th one plank costs three wood. And that's craziness. So, one foundation takes 15 pieces of wood. That's insane. That is just absurd. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to push M. We're going to have to go all the way back here. Because we want to build right here before nighttime, Right by the grub tree. Building by a grub tree is probably the best thing you can do. You get a very good resource of wood. So you get six wood every single chop, which is amazing. 
then you also get one tree grub. So once you get that tree grub, we can make the, like I said, once we get a fishing pole, we can use that tree grub to make the fishing line, fishing tackle to be completely correct. So we're just gonna make our way. Let's make sure we're going the right way. Okay, we're a little off track, so we'll just head this way. <clears throat> and since we don't have hunters on, there's two types of hunters. Once you do, oh, here's a carrot right here. Ooh, candy. Okay, awesome, we got the carrot. Perfect, that's a very good source of vegetable. Two types of uh, hunters. There's regular hunters that build a house and they get loot and they store it up and build their house huge and they do occasionally fight you when you walk by them. Then there's rogue hunters. Rogue hunters you'll always know because they have a, at nighttime, they'll have blue glow sticks on. They'll be just holding this guy or they'll be sitting by a campfire. So if you ever do see rogue hunters, do not go fight them. I promise you. It, it won't be good unless you have good guns. It's just, and it's just truly not even worth it. They don't drop the best loot. And so it's just, yeah, just don't even. So we're going to chop some wood. Um, and I'm sorry, guys, this is a completely live video. I didn't want to cut anything out because I didn't want to just make it like it's something super easy to start this game out. It's not. You have to, as you can see, how much stuff I've done just to get to this point is absurd. I mean, it's a lot of stuff, but it's so satisfying in the end. Once you start getting the oven and you start making cool food that you only need one food to get all your food up, your food and vegetables up because you make this big old chicken broth. It's just awesome. It's incredible late game once you get solar panels and windmills. So when it storms, it's just there's so much to this game that we haven't even got to, which I want to get to. Um, and that's why I'm doing a three-part series. We won't get fully in, but I'm thinking we'll start doing some episodes later on. So, which will be very cool and uh, so much to do. So awesome. We're almost here. The sun is peaking, so it's about to start going down. Um, so, I, we probably got five more minutes. Awesome. So, here's another berry. Pick that guy up. We'll try catching this chicken really quick just so we're going to put him on the fire tonight. Come here, chicken, 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 chicken. Come here, little bugger. I got him next stop. Don't stop, bro. I gotcha. Gotcha. Later. Ah, uh, rabbits. That's one thing I need to go over. I'll shoot this rabbit real quick. Okay. So rabbits, shooting a bow also, you need to aim a tad bit above their head. It has a it has an arrow drop. So we're going to wait for this thing to stop as long as it doesn't come close enough to me to see me, which it looks like it is. Awesome. That is not good. So these things you cannot catch by hand. They will just outrun you. So I'm just going to shoot it from here, a little bit of, uh, above its head, and then you'll be perfectly fine once it stops. You never really want to shoot one while it's walking because it's just, it is already a hard enough task to kill one while uh, it's standing still. So, uh, rub it. Okay. A little bit above the head, like I said. And it's dead. Awesome. So, one thing about rabbits. Awesome. Some more scrap metal. Rabbits always give you one cloth. Cloth is super good and super difficult to get. Because some bigger animals don't even give you cloth. And then once you start getting into the elks, they give you sinew, which is like super good for making rope later on in game. We don't need to go into those things because we're just trying to help you guys get through the first stages. So as you can see, we've got quite a bit of stuff. We've got two kelp. We've got four medical herbs, which is super good. We've got carrots, apples. So we're good on our vegetation. We just need to get our animals cooked and that is that we've got a nice uh a little bit of electrical components and some sh uh scrap metal sorry we've got biofuels so for our uh fire starter which we need to make right now and so we do have matches matches are awesome 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 but i would just save them until a dire need 
unless you're like running from a wolf, you're out of stamina, out of protein, you have some meat you need to cook before it spoils after that 15 minute timer, and it's nighttime and you're freezing cold. Besides that, I would not use them. You know, I would just take the time to go find four medical herbs. Awesome, we got an arrow. That's really rare. And another thing is guns. Guns, guns, guns. My gun I have right here, these bullets, treat them like they're a billion dollars each. Because they are not easy to get at all. You'll find out once you run out. And you'll be like, dude, I should have freaking listened to him. That is so difficult to find. So, just an FYI. Ooh, this guy just spawned here. Or it probably, or I just walked by and you guys are probably looking in the video, posting the comments if you did. That thing would have bit you if it was a snake, huh? All right, foundation, awesome. So five wood planks. Five wood planks is 15 wood. That is crazy. It's three wood per plank. 12 nails, which is pretty, pretty expensive. 67 seems like a lot, but that can't even make me five foundations. You have to realize, like, that's not a lot. And if I want to make walls, if I want to make a door, if I want to make a doorway, and three cordage. Cordage isn't hard to find. You just have to have good eyes. Once your eyes zoom into it and kind of get used to seeing it, you'll always see it. It's everywhere. Be completely honest. And, of course, I don't see any more as of right now. But I do see a chicken. We're going to go for a long bong. Let's see if we can hit this guy. Got him. And don't get discouraged with your bow. Okay? Don't get discouraged. I've been playing this game for a long time. And I'm still not the best with it. Okay, so we got another carrot right here. Awesome. Oh, onion. So we got an onion seed. We didn't get carrots. So we're going to make this low enough. At points, you can make it this high. But you have to have stairways, and we don't have stairways. So we're just going to get this as close to the tree as possible. You can go completely through the tree. But it just takes away from your walkway because you can't walk through this. All right? We're going to place our fire down since it's about to be nighttime. We're going to just get everything ready just so we don't have to worry about it. We're going to add some fuel. So we're going to split it. Throw it in there. Almost full. We don't need it completely full. And we're going to start putting our meat in here because it's literally about to spoil. And so as you can see, also with chickens that I haven't said, when you catch a chicken, it's level zero. And this is still alive. So if I throw this out, it's going to start running away from me. And you know what? I'll do it just for the memes. So literally, he's going to start running away from me right now. And the reasoning is because he's not dead. I caught him with my hands. And they put that aspect into the game so you're able to... Um... Sorry, I'm focusing so hard right now. If you could see my face, I am just like in focus mode to try getting my bugger back. Thank you. And so like I said, you'll never not be able to get it. It just takes time. And the thing you have to be careful with is look ahead of the chicken, not at the chicken. Because <clears throat> that chicken will run straight into enemy. If it sees a wolf, it'll start running directly at the wolf. And it is not fun. Alright, so like I said, you kill this thing because once you get a chicken coop, you keep them alive and you put them in the chicken coop. And then they uh, they get to level 10 and get really, really good meat. And we'll go over those in the next episodes. Not in these part, this three-part series. I'm going to kind of go over different things like how to kill wolves without being like taking damage or getting poisoned by them um how to use a gun when to use a gun uh, once we get this once we get the base command unit the bcu i'll show you guys how to do use that how to build different things how to get more mass more um energy so if you guys are interested i would greatly appreciate if you crack that sub button or subscribe button sorry um and and come for the next video because you'll learn a lot I and I appreciate everyone that does take the time to watch this fully it means a lot um, so we're going to chop those up awesome we got 6 feathers which is freaking phenomenal we have 5 we have 5 arrows because I was a dummy and shot them so we're actually going to start this up now just so my meat doesn't go bad 
Um, and we're gonna have way more protein than we need. And we do not have a refrigerator, so this protein goes bad, like I said, after 15 minutes. That is not good. You do not want that. So it's getting nighttime. Um, what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna cook this food. I'm gonna end this video, but I appreciate everyone for your, uh, for watching through this if you did make it through. Like I said, if you could crack that subscribe button and uh, come back for the next one and leave comments if you do have any questions, concerns, or any even anything you would like to tell me. But since we got that fire up, we're going to cook our meat and then I'll see you in part two of this series. You guys have a wonderful day and take care.